It's also important to consider adaptive decay. So you may have heard me talk a lot about adaptive resistance, avoiding adaptive resistance, that the longer you do the same thing, the less effective it becomes. So that's another reason why we use phase potentiation, because if you're just always doing the same thing all the time, your body's going to acclimate to that and you need to give it novel stimulus to continue driving new adaptations. But adaptive decay is going to be a common criticism of phasic structure or a linear powerlifting structure that you'll hear people people make, particularly like guys who like conjugate train a lot. They're going to say, oh, you're always moving away from the last thing that you develop. And that could be true if you have improper phase length. You know, if, if you're getting into really, really long phases that don't have sufficient volume, yeah, you might lose some muscle in a strength phase that you built in a hypertrophy phase. But strength should be sufficient volume to retain all hypertrophy and the phase shouldn't be so long that you're you're losing the previous quality. Same thing goes for peaking. Because peaking phases are inherently low volume, so you can manage fitness fatigue better going to the meet and manage it so you can lift the heaviest weights possible, there would be more potential there for possibly losing some hypertrophy. But that's going to be a consideration of how long your phase is. If you're in danger of actually losing muscle in that short of a time because Maybe you haven't been training for very long. You're not very big, muscular, or strong. You're not getting a ton of stimulus uh, from those weights. Then you're going to need to have a relatively short peak. So if you're watching this video, you're maybe a 22-year-old female lifter in the you know, 52 kilo class and you've been lifting for a year. Yeah, your peak could be like two weeks long. Maybe two and a half weeks, even one and a half week with like a half week taper. But if you're watching this video and you're someone like me, how I was in my powerlifting, career, you're 350 pounds, you've been lifting for 20 years, you know, then your peaking phase could be out as long as six or eight weeks long, and you're not going to have to worry about losing muscle during that phase. Now, if I would have extended to a three or four month peaking phase, yeah, that could be an issue. And then another consideration on top of this is going to be, of course, Soviet sport supplements. And if you're using those, you can have a longer peaking phase or get away with more peaking style training because those supplements are going to help you retain muscle mass even during low volume training. So we're looking at specificity, we're looking at creating a logical sequence uh, to help us avoid adaptive decay.